Pentlands, located in Gaithersburg, Maryland, is one of the oldest new urbanist communities in the United States. It has just added an organic community garden to its common space areas, much to the delight of the plot owners and the community at large. of committed residents supported by the Kentlands Community Foundation came together to get the project off the ground. Designers, journalists, doctors, and environmentalists worked to design the garden and draft bylaws which were presented to the Kentlands Environmental Management Committee. The Kentlands Governing Body voted and approved the project. Initially, we looked at it um, as a utilitarian location, get the most out of the um, space, do it basically um, in rows. And then as we began to talk with the different people, the Master Garden and the Community Association, and the different people that were interested, we learned that there were several things that we needed to take in consideration, such as um, the constraints, there's a lot of, uh, there's trees in the site, and we didn't want to, um, basically obstruct their growth because they, the community like really values them. Those trees that were planted at one point by, um, yeah, by community members. So, um, and then sun studies basically um, guided the location in, um, in regarding to those trees. And finally, it was the amenity to the community, looking at it um, from the perspective, you know, the arts barn is here, there's plays, there's very activities and just making it so that um, people could be in it, not necessarily related to the garden, but just because it's a pleasant location to be. And the final design is an elegant garden. There are nine four foot by eight foot plots with a gravel path that travels to each plot. For four weekends straight, volunteers worked to get garden plots ready for planting okay. and for the April 17th garden opening. The first step was to measure out the beds, level the ground, remove the clay, and remove the sod. The following weekend, a neighbor helped cut the wood and build the beds. Once the beds were built, the gravel donation arrived. The volunteers shoveled mounds of graystone dust into wheelbarrows. The gravel was then placed into the paths and tamped down. The garden opening ceremony was well attended by your neighbors, plot owners, donors, and local politicians. Donors were thanked for their generous support, and Go Green members talked about the value that the garden adds to this community. Um, so we started with the discussions about two years ago amongst neighbors. Uh, we uh, had the idea that we really wanted a community garden. We wanted to have an organic community garden that gave us the opportunity to work collaboratively and to learn how to grow organic vegetables. Aesthetically pleasing design for the garden that you see here. I specialize in what is called holistic building design. And that means looking at how everything connects to everything else. It's not just a building or a garden. It's how that element connects to the community and to something larger, as Bridget was saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm the cutter. Please. Yeah. <laughs> All right, are we ready? OK, it's officially open. Yay! celebrations, donated organic soil was blended and then added to each bed. Plot owners planted their chosen crops. Some gardeners started from seeds, others with small plants. The community has grown throughout the process of accepting this organic community garden. Those involved share information, their growing techniques, and even watering duties. 
the garden members meet often to deal with administrative and financial commitments that the project entails. Finally, a special mission of the garden is to teach children about the growing process and organic practices. Excess vegetables will be donated to a local food kitchen.